Hello, everyone. So this is a brief teaser to help you better understand our work. Our work is called LACE, which is short for Locally Linear Contrastive Embedding. Here are some information about the authors and their affiliation. This is the framework of our promo video. So our work focuses on node embedding problem in networks. According to homophily phenomenon, similar nodes are more likely to be connected with each other. So connected nodes are supposed to share similar embeddings in latent space, and further we need to preserve the local topological structure to keep the inherent connectivity patterns. But existing contrastive methods are not good at this. For example, like take first order neighbor as positive samples, it will lead to intercategory distortion. Instead, it could be alleviated by local topology preservation methods. In response, here we design a novel objective. The numerator is the idea leveraged from locally linear embedding, and the denominator is called the contrastive similarity, which derived from existing methods. To minimize the objective, local topology could be preserved as much as possible will we also achieve the homophily phenomenon in latent space. To solve the problem, here we give two versions of optimization. We first prove the complexity of the problem in section 2.2, and correspondingly we give an iterative optimization procedure. In addition, we rewrite the objective of conventional skipgram neural network to derive a new optimization procedure, it performs more efficient than the formal optimization procedure, especially in large-scale cases. For experiment part, in this paper, we validate the proposed model on both synthetic data sites and real-world data sites. For synthetic data sites, we give visualization of embeddings in latent space, and we can see that our method best preserves the local topology, particularly in intercategory regions. For real world data sites, we take node classification tasks as downstream tasks, and we can see that our model outperforms the comparison methods. And what's more, we also conduct sensitivity analysis. In the future, we are expecting more general framework and the corresponding optimization methods. So that is the end of this video, and thanks for listening.